Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin. Here on my channel, I cover all things beauty. That includes makeup, fragrance, and designer here and there. If you think that is something you'll be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload. And in today's video, we are doing my monthly empties, you guys. And I got some stuff that I used up this month. Okay, so nice and of things in here. So yes, if you guys are interested and want to see what I have used up for the month of July, then just keep so watching. So we are going to start with candles because I did use a couple of this month. Not too many. I usually use more in the fall and the winter, but yeah, I used up a couple. So this first one is actually a really old one from Goose Creek from like two or three years ago. And this was peanut butter crisp and it looks like that. It reminds me of the peanut butter cereal. This one smelled so good. I think this was my husband's favorite candle that we burned this month. Um, it burned so well. I feel like Goose Creek's candles really burn well and burn all the way down. Like the wicks get low. I love that about these. Um, I did buy these online a couple years ago, so I don't know if they make these anymore, but I enjoyed this one and I would totally repurchase that one. And I do know that they sell Goose Creek um, in Walmart now. Um, so yeah. All right, next candle. This is Strawberry Daiquiri. This was actually a really nice candle as well. It was definitely a strawberry candle. I feel like I didn't get much daiquiri, but it definitely was a nice strawberry candle. So um, I enjoyed this one as well. I would totally repurchase that one. My husband finished up a mahogany teak wood intense. I mean, it's definitely a really, really nice, sexy man type of fragrance. Yes, women can use that too, obviously, but if you're looking for a really good candle for a guy, that is definitely it. And then I have two one wick candles. So this first one is Sugar Lemon Zest. This is one that I got during SAS and I just hated how it burned but Sugar Lemon Zest is such a good strong lemon candle if that's what you like and going for. That's amazing. Another candle that surprisingly was a powerhouse was the Watermelon Lemonade. This is the one in the little round packaging. I also got this during SAS recently. Um, and I did enjoy this candle. This was really nice. It was really, really strong and um, it was a good one. Talking about soaps and I'll be having, we go through a lot of soaps. Okay, Firecracker Pop. This is always a nice one to have. Had this one out for the 4th of July. So this one is good. Um, this next one is Find Your Joy Everywhere. Mint and Chip Ice Cream. This is one of my favorites. I constantly use these up so good definitely a mint chocolatey chip ice cream amazing all right then we have pineapple mango always a good one to have it's nice um then we have coastal watermelon uh i didn't like this one i think my son said he hated this one this one is like i don't know it's weird something about it is weird like it smells like Okay, so it has juicy watermelon, a pinch of punch, a pinch of pink sea salt, and ocean wave. So it is a salty watermelon type of scent. I didn't really enjoy this one, so I would not pick that one up. And I hope we don't have any more in the collection. This is the Very, Very Good Days Strawberry Soda. Always a good one. I have plenty of backups of that one. Um, this is Red Cherry and Oud. I don't know how people felt about this one. I think this one was the upstairs bathroom one. It smells really good though. It's, it's definitely a sexy um, scent. Um, then we had Gingham Unstoppable. This actually smelled really nice. This was my husband's on my husband's side. He liked that one. I like that one for him as well. Last soap is the Butterfly Soap. This is the cleansing gel soap. Um, I do like the way the Butterfly scent smells in here. Not always a fan of the cleansing gel. Um, I kind of sometimes like to put these in the half bathroom so like other people can use these, I guess. I don't, I rarely go in a half bathroom ever. Um, but yeah, that is not a bad scent. I just am not a fan of the um, 
the gym. All right, so no body care because, you know, right now I'm working on my project, use it up. Um, I, so yeah, no body care for me. My son, he likes to use seven body washes at a time. So he is don't even get emptied all the way before he start using a different one. So yeah. And my husband isn't, he hasn't been using his body washes. He's been using just the dial. So I did have a pack of dial bar soap. I need to start showing you guys that, but I have been using those for a few months. I really enjoy that as a first cleansing before I get to doing my scented body hair, but I really enjoy the dial soaps. Um, let's see. I have a Thero Breath in here. This is one of my favorites. I do enjoy this one. I really like the pink one as well. So I need to get um, backups of that. Uh, this is the, let me see, who is this by? Secret. This is the Aluminum Free pH Balancing Minerals Real Cucumber. Y'all, these Aluminum Free deodorants be just, it's, it, they don't be it. But I did enjoy the scent of this. It wasn't overpowering. I do like um, the cucumber scent in this. Um, I did use it, obviously. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'll repurchase this one. Um... I have been changing up my routine for under my arm. So right now it is working, but I haven't been using this one. I've been using this one, which is the Secret Aluminum Free. This is the clear one. This is more of the gel, like the jelly consistency. So um, right now I am enjoying this one with my body care routine. So I won't be picking this one up anytime soon. Okay, this is a, I got a bunch of random stuff. So this is the Tresemme Root Touch Up in Dark Brown. I would spray this on my roots just to darken my hair up a little bit um, because my hair had been thinning. And so, you know, I wanted to spray this. This was not my favorite. I don't know that I would pick this one up again because I didn't really like the color as well. So I'm pretty sure I just won't pick that one up again. Um, this is Life Body. This was from Life Body Naturals. This is Luna Zen. This is the nighttime moisturizer. I used to talk about this years ago. So if you don't know, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I got like, it was some psoriasis or something like that. I think that's what they told me. Anyways, I got psoriasis. I think that's what it was. I can't remember. But I, it happened when I was pregnant with my daughter I thought it was gonna go away after her, but it never did. And I, I kept having like little flare ups every now and again. This was a lifesaver, okay? This was an absolute lifesaver. The only thing that actually worked that did not break me out, the perfect amount of everything. Now, I let this one go bad because this is a natural product. So if you're not using it, it will go bad. So now it has a funky smell to it. I also, was putting this on my daughter too because she was having those same like little rashy they look like little rashes depending on her you know on certain parts of her body and right now she has one like on her nose it's not really a rash but it's like little tiny bumps um the owner of this does not she hasn't made this in i don't know when was the last this is probably the last time i bought from her which was well over a year maybe a year and a half ago this stuff was a little expensive but it works this is the only thing it works um i did get an email from her company a couple weeks ago saying that they will start back producing this particular product i highly recommend this if you do have any type of um issues with your skin you can put this all over your body as well as your face this was a lifesaver so i need her to hurry up and um and get that company back running her name is tanya she actually was on little women atlanta i love her so yeah all right moving on um come on mighty patches now these were the invisible ones i don't like these as much as i like just the original ones i feel like i don't know something about these these look better on the skin like if you're going out but these don't work as good as the original ones. This was like a freebie from Ulta and you know, I always buy these. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I had another one in here because we, my whole family used them. Me, my husband, my son. Um, this was the Curly Kids Super Detangler. I've had this for so long. It was cool. So, so yeah, this was all right. Let's see what else I have in here. 
my Shiseido. I literally just finished these up today. I stopped putting these in here, but these are my Holy Grail cotton pads. I don't use anything but those. Um, baby girl finished up a Mr. Bubble. This is like the little fluffy, it says uh, foam soap, but I let her play with it more so. Than, she don't use this on her body. She just plays with it in the bathtub. So she uses that. What else we got in here? Another of the Q-Tex. Um, I think I have one of these left and I need to pick up more. I think we got them from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. I don't know, but they're so good. What else is in here? Um, this was the Sigma and Sephora brush cleanser. This was okay. I thought this was going to be something amazing. It was just okay. Finished up the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray i love this i do have i want to say i have another backup somewhere of that i finished up this is the pat mcgrath labs this is an m17 this is a concealer i used to love this is a really good concealer but it's nothing really in there but it was just a really nice skin tone concealer so i love that i would totally repurchase that one but right now i'm trying to just branch off getting new concealers i finished up a couple of these we actually had more of these these was this was the airwick ones and then i also have glade and they both smell really good i don't remember what the scents were honestly but they're good and i would repurchase them and they actually work a little bit better than the bath and body works ones so yeah finished up a mini of the professional this is not my favorite this is the light professional i don't really like this one at all i like the hydrating one or the original this was one of my all-time favorite blushes of life it i hit pan on it and it's just a little bit left and it's kind of crumbling so it, i'm getting rid of this like, i'm not i'm not keeping that but that was a good bronzy blush this is the i don't know this brand oliver it's the nail polish gel remover. It removes gel nail. So you just put this on your nails and leave it there for a little bit and then kind of like use a scraper and scrape it off. It works really good. I get that from Amazon and I do need to do my nails. I just didn't have time. And then the last three things are actually pocket bags. So I used up raspberry tangerine, strawberry snowflakes again, as well as summer melody. So I just used uh, summer melody up. So yeah. That is it, you guys. That is my empties. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in another video.